CQ, CQ, this is W9GFO. Is anybody out there? Maybe the people need to see what I've seen. They need to see. This is the way it's been done for billions of years. Small moves out. It has been an extremely hard winter. I am in a lot of pain, and I've been very sick. A lot of things had to go by the wayside, and I love this project, Villages to Villages. I think it's a great idea, and if I do say so myself. And it's had a lot of really good contributions by Wolfie and Decadence and Creek Craft, and now we have a new person joining. Uh, as you know, I'm real determined about this game, and I want to do well in it. And things have suddenly radically shifted. I am punching down some trees. Apple saplings fall from leaves. What you think about me? Having Minecraft fun, Granny Gamer One. 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 I can make a crafting bench, a furnace, and some sticks. I'll need torches and a pen. Double also I will need. I'm crafting up a pick. So picky is thick. Having Minecraft fun, Granny Gamer One. Having Minecraft fun, Granny Gamer One. I be mining up some coal. I'm mining up some stone. All that cobblestone I'll own. I'm Granny Gamer One. You know what I mean, and I do my little turn in survival. Single player, yeah, on multiplayer, yeah. I even do my little thing in Minecraft Bingo. Having Minecraft fun, Granny Gamer One. Having Minecraft fun, Granny Gamer One. Having Minecraft fun, Granny Gamer One. Making me a sword, I'm making me a sword. Monster Hunter, don't get bored. I be smoking up some loot. Hat pants and chest and boots. Got a shiny iron suit. I'm Granny Gamer One. I'm not scared of ravines. And I do my little turn in the Minecraft. Yeah, in the nether. Even in the end. Yeah, I stick my little foot in the Minecraft. Having Minecraft fun, Granny Gamer One. Having Minecraft fun, Granny Gamer One. Too crafty for my, too crafty for my, too crafty for my. I'm Granny Gamer One, and I'm crafty and keen, and I do my little thing in creative. Yeah, in the mini games, I'm playing Minecraft. Yeah. I shake my little tush in Minecraft forum. I can barely tame the cat. I try not to hit bats. There's so much more than flying rats. I can tame a dog with bone. Dog, don't leave me alone. Dogs are gonna leave me. And I'm crafty for this song. Having Minecraft fun. Oh, stop. A few people who have generous spirits and who have some influence in the game have started to pay attention to the fact that I'm here. And they take me seriously even when others don't. And I'm very grateful for that. What this means is that a project I've wanted to work on since I first got Minecraft may actually be possible now. I don't have any background, any education, any training, or any experience in coding, in computer coding. Um, and the only things I've learned, I've learned because I had to learn them as I was needing to learn them. Like HTML and stuff like that. 
So I have no formal training at all, and I'm very intimidated by this whole process. But I've always wanted to build a map. Always. A particular map. Those of you who have been with my channel for a long time can probably figure out what the map is. I want to do something about Native American culture in the community in which I live. I see so much stuff in Minecraft that is junk about Native Americans, um, stereotypes, and stuff that's really insulting to Native Americans, like wearing headdresses and buckskin and constructing teepees right next to totem poles. I mean, it's like making the Eiffel Tower right next to the um, Big Ben clock in London and trying to say they're both the same culture. Uh, I don't want to appropriate, that means to steal, um, things that are culturally significant to Native American people. I don't want to do that uh, for my own benefit. But what I do want to do is help educate people and expose people to the really rich and diverse culture of people around me. I don't think me wanting to make this map is exploitive exploitative any more than Adam Clark's Tate Museum map would be exploitative of those artists. Part of the reason I feel more confident in being able to do this is in fact because I have contacted Adam Clark. Adam Clark also goes by the name of Professor Adam on YouTube or Prof Adam and his Twitter name is The Common People which ought to tell you something right there. He worked on the Tate Museum map for a very very long time with a crew of really wonderful people some of whom I'm also becoming friends with on Twitter and elsewhere. Uh, one of them is Sparks from Accidental Gaming. He did He's the one that set fire to Templecraft. Uh, he's brilliant at command blocks. He's got a creative server now with these command block plugins. They're not, it's vanilla Minecraft with command block plugins that changed the game. I just logged onto that server today for the first time and it's really interesting. And he's still developing these plugins. And you're not going to believe this, but I have an idea for a plugin. And I think I could actually do it. He offers downloads of all of the stuff that he builds. And I really think that I can modify one of his existing plugins and make it do something I want to do. This last episode of Pillages the Villages, I'm not even going to try to get achievements or points or um, any static statuses. Stat I can't remember what it's called. You know what I mean. These were ideas like going down the ladders through the well. These were ideas I had had when I wanted to take this, the rest of this series seriously and really try to get as many achievements and points and stuff as I could. I can't. I can't. I need to finish this series and say goodbye to it and prepare for the next one, which, thank heavens, Wolfie and Decadence and... Um, Creekcraft have been really into it and they have modified it and improved it. Wolfie and Decadence found the seed for this next season coming up. Um, I'm going to be uploading one of, a re-upload of one of his videos explaining how to do next season seed. It's another three month episode. Um, so they've really taken control when I couldn't and um, made sure that this is staying alive and that new people are involved and I'm really glad to see that because I really want to see this continue and I want to see it grow I want to see other people participate I'm glad I thought of the idea Wolfie and Decadence and I discussed it between ourselves and then I invited Creekcraft and he got involved in the reddit and when I had to bow out he and Wolfie and Decadence sort of just you know kept it going and came up with weekly challenges and stuff like that to keep keep it interesting 
So I'm just playing out this last bit of this for fun. Nothing about this is serious. I don't want it to be. So this is the April Fool's snapshot that I'm playing in. I'm not playing in hardcore. I don't. You can't die here. Well, you can, but it's really, really hard to die. Wish I could have found some horses. So I could show you what it's like to ride horses in the snapshot. If you haven't played with a April Fool snapshot, please do. It's a heck of a lot of fun. And finish it out in a derpy way. I accidentally placed my furnace. Darn it. You know, when you place a furnace in Pillages of Villages, you can't pick it up again. So I think that the Turkish government is intimidated by Minecraft, not because it's violent, because relative to a lot of other games, this is not a violent game. They even don't like um, killing mobs because, for mob drops. Yeah. That's a completely unrealistic view of reality. Um, and... Compared to Grand Theft Auto or one of those other games? Really? Minecraft? So, Dinnerbone and the kids got together and they made a version of Minecraft where you can't kill things. You can, but it's very difficult. It's basically a glitch in the game if you can manage to kill something. For instance, you can push an animal into a cactus. Um, horses can suffocate. Things like that. But it's really hard. It's also really hard to die. One way to die is to punch a hole through bedrock while you're in creative. Go through the bottom of the world and you can't die. You just keep falling. So that's a mess. So this was Dinnerbone and the crews. Not just Dinnerbone, but all of them. This was their response to the Turkish government. Um, and I agree with most of what they've done here. One thing is, though, when you go into your settings... The settings are all blank. And supposedly that's because um, they were laughing at people for saying it's not fair that it's hard to play this game on low-end computers. There are many people on the planet who can't afford better computers and who don't have good internet. We don't all live in Stockholm, Sweden. And we're not all tech gurus. And I think it would be... Behoove them to pay attention to that because, like I always say, we don't know who the next little genius is going to be. And for a company that participates in Block by Block, the program that wants to teach people in developing countries, kids in developing countries, architecture through Minecraft, I think it's very arrogant and in poor taste for them to laugh at people who don't have state-of-the-art equipment and um, really good broadband internet. Okay? Wireless, whatever. So here I go, following bait ores. I want you to see this. And following gravel. I textured my gravel that way because the gravel is kind of pink. And I couldn't really... It looked like um, granite blocks when it was in my inventory. And I couldn't really see it. Say, look, gravel led to a bait ore. Bait ore led to gravel. Gravel led to a bait ore. I'm going to dig this all out because it is my habit to dig it all out. Because, yes, I see the iron there. And I know that that iron is leading me to something. But I need to clear this all out anyway, because that's the way you do it. The other thing is, I'm picking up flint this whole time, and I won't see it in my inventory later when I need a flint and steel. So I start digging poke holes. When do I start? Well, soon. My neighbors are dragging something down the alley. I hope it's not a dead body. 
I'm making sure I know my way back up. It's really hard to take fall. You, I don't think you can take fall damage, actually. Now I'm digging poke holes. The place with the uh, where the iron was is on the other side of the room, but look at this. More bait ores. Digging out the bait ores. This will lead back to where the iron was. So you could triangulate from two different directions to get to this corner, is what I'm saying. Poke holes, poke holes, back toward the center of the room, there it is. I'm not, you know, it could be confirmation bias, it really could, but this has happened so many times playing this game that I firmly believe that in many cases, not all, in many cases, diamond, gold, and redstone are obscured by what I call bait ores, which is to say iron and coal. And it's in your best interest to clean those out. See, now I'm back in the main room again. I came out the side where the iron had been. There's noises going on outside. I better check my audio recording. So yeah, that was going straight down through the thing. Yes, that's a technical term. I went down through the thing. The well. The well it is the center of a village. It hardly ever is. It's quite often lopsided and off-center. But it is considered structurally the center of the village. The whole village forms around the well. Interesting behavior. I've noticed this in other people's videos today, too. Interesting behavior with the villagers. They will not leave you alone. They all gang up on you. And here's the part where I get derpy. So I'm going to let this run now. You go ahead and watch it. And when I get to something good, I will come back in and let you know. Have fun.
I have no reason in the world to stick around this village and do villagey stuff. I thought for a minute that might be a killer rabbit. If they have up and down eyes, vertical eyes, they are regular rabbits. It's if they have horizontal eyes. Uh, regular eyes go up and down. You know how uh, a lot of the colored rabbits look like they're wearing sunglasses? Yeah, so that's how to remember which is a killer rabbit. Because killer rabbits have horizontal eyes. Now this is interesting in this version, in this snapshot, which is throw beneficial potions at you. However, potions of healing and health and stuff um, actually hurt undead. And so that zombie was taking damage. Oh yeah, squid are flying. <laughs> Oh, this is what I wanted to find, a skeleton, because I noticed something really interesting today when I was playing earlier. If you can get a witch to hit a skeleton, the skeletons will shoot. They forgot to take that out of the game. The code is still there. So stand really close to a skeleton so that the potion hits the skeleton and the skeleton will shoot. It can't actually cause damage, but you can hear the bow sounds. And I think it's actually shooting arrows, but... They don't land. Something like that. And I'll bet a way to test that would be if you could ever get a creeper in the middle and keep it from blowing up long enough so that the skeleton would try to shoot the witch, accidentally shoot the creeper, kill the creeper. Maybe you could actually get a record in this version of the game. I don't know. But those witches did kill that skeleton. They killed both of them. So you can kill things in this game, but it's really tricky. Brian Lorgon 111 <clears throat> did a Twitch live stream today of this. I suggested that he try to play Minecraft Bingo in this, where nothing can die and drops are not normal and so on. He managed to do a run of Minecraft Bingo, and as a result, I learned how to change the hardcore file into the hardcore save into the name of the save for this snapshot there's only one world for this snapshot so any world you want to play in this snapshot you have to rename it the same file name as this snapshot which is AF for April Fools AF Oh, existence, E-X-I-S-T-E-N-C-E -E -E dot A-F, April Fool's, 1-5. That's the name of the save for this game. So then when you turn the game back on, it doesn't know. It doesn't spawn you in a new seed. It spawns you right here in an old world. So that was Pillages of Villages Season 1 Episode Finale. The Lightning Round. Played in the April Fool Love Snapshot. And I'm drowning. With flying squid and happy loving witches. You know the routine. I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. Bye. I will kill you.
Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and let's go get it!